Oh, see me, EPMD once again. All right. We here. Chill Will 174. We in the building. Chill Will Talks. Uh, we gonna talk about hip hop today. Hip hop. I'm gonna try to cover everything hip hop. I might not get everything, but I'm gonna talk about some things. Sponsored by Water Polar Spring. That's all I got today. Let's talk about hip hop, man. Every aspect of hip hop. Let's get into this records first. Uh, I see a lot of people making lists about this records, but one thing about this records is always a comeback record. You know what I mean? And I feel like a few people had to come back that maybe made them the victors. I'm not sure. You know, we had Karis One, MC Shane, Cannabis, LL, Tupac, Biggie, Jay-Z, Nas, you know, joints like that. Uh, let's get into the Tupac records. Everybody claim hit him up is one of the, the best disc records of all time. That's Cap. You know why? Because he had the outlaws on the record. And the Outlaws ain't none of them better than no Biggie Smalls. So they shouldn't have been on the record. It should have been a one-on-one -on -one record, Tupac versus Biggie, and let them go at it. You know what I'm saying? So I have to discredit the Hit Em Up record. It was a dope record, but it wasn't a classic hip-hop record. You know what I'm saying? Um, the LL against uh, Cannabis record. You know what I'm saying? I feel like LL was, was at a point in time in his life where he had to make a comeback because if that record wasn't hard enough... He was out of here. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like that was a had to comeback record. So I'm not sure if that counts. You know what I'm saying? Then you got Nas and Jay-Z. Um, you know, everybody loves Ether. I like Ether too. I'm a huge Nas fan, huge Jay-Z fan. Everybody's talking Ether. He won as the victor. I don't think nobody won in that battle. I felt like they both had classic records. You know what I'm saying? But I felt like TakeOver was a harder record. I felt like Super Ugly was a harder record. Uh, and people try to discredit Super Ugly like that record was vicious. Like the gloves came off in that record. Jay-Z, Super Ugly. But people try to say, oh, that was too far, this, that, that. I don't want to hear none of that. That was a hard record. I felt like he came with that record, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, BDP versus the Juice Crew. That wasn't really a battle. You know what I'm saying? But Kara still came out the victor on that. But... You know, it is what it is when it comes to that. That's just how it happened, how it started. Busy B versus Kumo D, you know what I'm saying? That was another battle that people say was unfair, you know what I'm saying? But Kumo D came out the victor on that one. There's a whole bunch of others. Uh, Ice Cube's um, No Vaseline was definitely a classic. He came with that one for sure. He definitely got the victory on that one, you know what I'm saying? Now let's get into... The founded fathers of hip hop, because I seen the documentary and I I see dudes I think from Brooklyn claiming that they the ones that started hip hop, which is Cap also, and they say it started in Brooklyn, but those were disco DJs and R and B DJs. Those DJs wasn't playing hip hop like DJ Flowers and a couple of other cats that was out there. And my thing is, if KRS One been saying hip hop started in the Bronx for like forty years. Man, nobody said nothing. Then y'all come out with this documentary called The Founding Fathers. Y'all can't, y'all couldn't have let this man tell a lie for 40 years. Y'all couldn't, there's no way possible. If it wasn't true, somebody would have been came out and said this. But nobody did. So we don't believe you when it come to that. Now let's talk about what hip hop started in the Bronx. I'm from the Bronx, so we know this for sure. But the discrepancy was, was it started by Cool Herc and Coca La Rock? Or was it started by DJ King Mario? And Africa being Bada on the east side. You know what I'm saying? And other dudes was from the west side who hurting them. So no everybody that talks about this never comes with the timeline of who started it first or how it started, man. You know what I'm saying? I could talk about it because I feel like I'm gonna use the slogan from Karis One. I am hip hop. You know what I'm saying? But um we don't know where it started, where hip hop originally started, man. Shout out to King Mario, because he don't get enough credit when they talk about DJ from the Bronx that was out there in the parks 21 days of summer. A lot of cats don't talk about it, but Cool Herc, they credited with Cool Herc with being the guy that started hip-hop, but we don't really know. And all of this hip-hop started in Jamaica stuff and all that, come on, man. We don't believe none of that. That started right here in the Bronx with the boom bat, man. That's how that started, man. And yes, the Puerto Ricans were there. They were there right with the blacks. They were rocking along. They were there. You know what I'm saying? We can't take them out. They definitely were there. You know what I'm saying? What they doing 
there was a few um Spanish MCs. I can't remember their names, but they were there. You know what I'm saying? They were around. They were out there. But I think they mostly were B-boys and breakers and stuff like that. But they were definitely there. The one Spanish, I can't remember the dude's name from one of them crews, man. But I'll get to it on the next one, man. But um, I spoke about the disc records, the founding fathers. Oh, also these top 10 lists or top 20 lists. You cannot mix errors when you do the, the top 10 or greatest of all time. You can't mix errors. You know what I mean? You can't mix the 80s rappers with the 90s rappers. You can't mix the 90s rappers with the 2000s. You can't do that. You can't, man, because you got to, it, it just doesn't mix. You, it don't match. You can't put a Rock Kim with a Mob Deep in that era. You can't do that. You know, it just don't mix and match. You got to put the top 10 80s MCs with the top, you got to put the top 10 90s MCs or the top 10 2000 MCs. Like, you can't mix the errors. You can't put them on your all-time list. You can't put them in the same category. You know, but cats, because different times, man, different raps, different times. And last but not least, let's talk about the cursing and certain things that were talked about on records. M NWA gets credited with that, but also Coogee Rap was out doing it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, discrepancy comes. I think G Rap was out like in 1988. NWA was like 88, 89, 91. So, I mean, 90, 91, excuse me. So, who started it first? Don't know, don't really know. Um, and WA definitely took it to another level as far as the cursing and saying certain things on rap that turned into reality rap in the 90s. But who started it first? It's either Coogee Rap or NWA. That's East and West Coast against, but we don't know. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm wrong about any of this, I talk about it right. Some people talk about it wrong. I just speak the truth on it. Let me know. Comment. Hip hop. I am hip hop. I'm borrowing the slogan from KRS One. Shout out to Kenny Parker. One.